so guys you can see that the beep is very smooth and uh, and widely audible and we are only using the fixed direct voltage for this no transistor no other electronics in between hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm going to show you how you can interface a passive buzzer with a pic 16 fe 77a microcontroller so let's get started so guys this is our pic 16 fe 77a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version and this is the passive buzzer i'm going to use here as you can see there is a plus sign on its body and on the other side there is no sign the pin beneath the plus sign is our power pin and the other one is a ground pin. Now, there are basically two types of buzzer. One is a passive and one is a active. Active buzzer is simple to use. You just give it the power and it starts to beep. While for the passive buzzer, you have to give a pulse. Uh, different pulses will produce different pitch of the beep. But you cannot do this in the active buzzer. So, you can control the pitch of beeping by using pulses coming from the microcontroller. So, let me show you how to do it. If you want to check either the buzzer you have is active or passive, just give it the 5 volt. If it makes a beep, it's active. If it makes a clicking noise and do not make a beep, it means it's a passive. So let's uh, uh, let me show you how to connect it with a pick. It's very simple to connect. You connect the ground pin that is opposite to opposite to the plus sign with the ground pin of your pick like this. And the power pin, you can send it to any available digital input output pin of your pick. I'm going to send it to the pin number C2 like this. In this way, our buzzer is connected. So let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming. So guys, this is a buzzer here. As you can see, this is our passive buzzer. There is the pic 16 f 7 microcontroller. And that's all. We have only two wires. And as shown in the presentation, they are connected with the pic. So let's get to the micro C4 pic. Let me zoom in. The vision, guys, I have is 7.2.0. You can go for the latest versions as well. Latest is always the better. So I suggest you go for the latest. So let's get started. First of all, click on File, then New, New Project. Then this window pops up, New Project Wizard. Click on Next. Write the name of the project. I write Buzzer Passive Tutorial by Learning Microcontrollers. Now select the path where you want the hex files to be generated. Select the microcontroller you are going to use. I'm going to use a PIC16 F877A. And select the crystal you have attached with your microcontroller. And I have connected a 20 megahertz crystal. Click on next and finish. This will lead you to this window over here. Before you do anything else, first of all, press Ctrl S to save your work. Now the work is saved. Now guys, the next thing is, uh, first of all, initialize the pin on which the buzzer is connected. And that's it is C.F2 as shown in the presentation, pin number C2 equals to 0. Like in case of Arduino, you write the pin mode output or input command. Here it is a trace register. 0 means it's an output pin and 1 means it's an input. So in our case, it must be an output pin. Now the initially, the buzzer must be at 0. So we write port C.F2 equals to 0. Like in case of Arduino, you use the command called digital write, low or high. Here it's port C.F2, whichever the pin it is. And 0 means it's low and 1 means it's high. Give some initialization delay in the one time loop. It is not necessary, but I suggest you always give it. Now, guys, we have our pin initialized. We can go for the programming. So write down while one forever loop starts here and ends here. Now, first of all, we need to generate a sort of frequency. Uh, so one millisecond delay will be enough to trigger the buzzer. So I write this is the initial state. Initially, this pin is not sending anything. Now it will send a 1. And a pulse is you make it high and then you make it low. It means there is a pulse. And then it is made low. Then we need to give delay. Now this delay will define how your buzzer should trigger. 1 millisecond delay will mean that it should remain on. So let me show you what happens when I give 1 millisecond of delay. So I build the code. Let me turn on the Picket 3 programmer software. Okay, the code is built. Let's burn it. Okay, here it is. First of all, you select your microcontroller. PIC 16 F877A is the one we are using here. Click on file, import the hex file you just created. This is the file. Click on write. Okay, the new file is being written. Let me zoom out and let's get to the hardware. 
so guys let it write and then we will give 5 volt to the buzzer from this picket okay there we go so guys i think you can hear the beeping beep sign see it is making a smooth beep with a delay of 1 millisecond see the beep is very smooth with a delay of just 1 millisecond now we change the delay to see what happens with the next beep so i get to the programming again let me zoom in i change this delay here i make it like 100 now you will see there will be a different in the beep and this is not possible with the active buzzer so this is the advantage of the passive buzzer so let's burn this as well what we had done is that we had only changed the delay here now it will change the way in which the beeping was taking place so let's get to the hardware and see let the code burn now see now you can see guys it's just ticking tick 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 see now again what i do is that i change the delay here i make it 50 And remember that if you want to increase this beep sound, you can simply increase the voltage. It can support a voltage of up to 8 to 10 volt. So I burn this. Now the delay is 50. Let's see what happens. Let's get to the hardware. The new code is being burned. Let it burn. Now see, picking speed has increased. The higher the higher the speed of frequency, higher the frequency, the smoother the beep will become. And this is not possible with the uh, uh, active buzzer. See, that's how you can play with the play with this code. I will give you this code in the description of this video. You can simply change the delays here. So let's again make it one to make it smooth. Let me make it smooth. Here we go. Let's build it. Now let's write, let's get to the hardware. Okay, let it write the new code. Now again, it will be like our first code, it will be very smooth again. See? Now guys, in case you want to increase this beep, speed, beep sound volume, then you have to give like uh, additional voltage using some external source and you have to use a transistor. You have to use a transistor with a pick, but these type of buzzers are installed in small electronics like in motherboard of the computer. They have this, this sound is sufficient. So you do not need a transistor basically with this. So guys, this is it. If you still have any questions, you can ask them in the comment. Thank you very much for your time and patience. Have a nice day.